All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are still here in Ogun State. Uh, we are currently at Iju. There's a project I'm doing here, and uh, it's a nice one, a beautiful one. And for the first time, I actually had to plan and design and construct a living building. Of course, I'm not a building engineer in the sense of building houses. I only build farm houses, but for the first time, I had to build the farm quarters, uh, a two-bedroom flat. So, don't ask me how I was able to put up the plan. Don't worry, when we get inside, I'll tell you the secret. But it's actually the first uh, building, uh, living quarters I'm actually designing and building on my own. So, I will allow you to assess, uh, give your own opinion on that. All right, so why I brought you outside is because of the soil. Uh, many persons are faced with the challenge of getting the right type of soil. So you can see this is the exact type of soil that is required for the concrete pens. So you see how black it is and the humus content of the soil. And also it has good organic content. Now you see it, this is a plastering sand. This is what some persons will always go and bring. Uh, this is not ideal for the uh, production inside the concrete pens. So this is what they use for plastering here. You can see the difference. And this. This is what they use to plant flowers. Uh, by the roadside, you see some horticulturists planting flowers. This is what they use to plant those flowers. So you can always meet them to get you a link to how you come about the soil. Of course, places like Lagos, they are very advanced. You easily don't find this, but I think you can get it more easily in Ogun State and the environs outside Lagos. So for you to have access to it, locate people that plant flowers, horticulturists, and uh, of course, they will give you the right type of soil. And this is not what you need at all. So this is the right type of soil. So we are going to prepare this for the concrete pens. So now I'm going to take you inside and first we'll go straight to my uh, personally designed uh, two bedroom flat. Then I'll take you to the farm quarters, which uh, we are actually still working on. All right, so this is the gate. And here is our building. So you can see the face of the building. Entrance the gates to the house, and we come in like this. This is the toilet for the visitors. You can just show them. That's the visitors' toilets. So you see what it looks like, and this is the entrance to the house. And of course, this is the living uh, room or the sitting room as they like to call it. So it's freshly built. So of course, you see we've not plastered because work is still ongoing. But at least for now, we're complete with the internal work. So this is the dining. Here's the parlor, the sitting room, and here is the dining. So you can have your dining chairs and your dining table here and have fun. So uh, this is the lobby to the two rooms. Now this is the first one here. When you come in like this, so this is one of the rooms and this is the toilet and a bedroom. So uh, this is for this room, the occupants of this room. And then we have something similar for the other room. Uh, this is being cleaned currently, so I wouldn't want to go inside and mess it up. So we have exactly the same thing inside here, the toilet and the bedroom right there. So when you come from the lobby, uh, this is the way that leads you to the kitchen. Now uh, this is the passage to the kitchen. We have our solar system installed here. Of course, you know power is a big deal in Nigeria now because of the cost of fuel. So it's better you go on solar. And if you want to install your solar, don't forget to contact us. We have good solar companies that we work with. So you can power your entire farm with solar system. That way you don't have to buy fuel every now and then. So this is the doorway to the kitchen. 
Yeah, so this is the kitchen, you can see the tiles here are really beautiful. And this is a small store I designed for the kitchen. Fortunately, you couldn't take the tiles to the top. So, uh, yeah, we have protectors everywhere. So, this is my personal design. And of course, I'm not a construction or a building engineer. I'm an animal scientist. I design farm houses, I build farm houses. Well, uh, I was challenged by the client. He said, Kesta, you can do this. If you build uh, farm structures, you can build a house. So I had to sit down and begin to think and came up with this plan. And the secret to this plan is, this is the exact design for my house. It's, my house is a three bedroom flat. So what I did was to take out the guest room and make it a two bedroom flat because the guest room makes it a three bedroom. So all I did was to draw my own house and take away the guest room and you have it. So that's the secret. So if you want to build your house, get a competent engineer. Uh, of course, if it's farm quarters, now you know what I can do. So of course we can design uh, a lot of farm quarters now but for your luxury houses. Don't call Kesta anyways. Alright, so we'll take you outside and take you to the farm quarters, which is my area of competence. So this is the fence. Um, so if they have visitors, the visitors are not allowed into the farm. They can mind their business here. If they want to see the farm, they can stand here and look. So not anybody that comes into the farm just moves into the farm building. So that's why you see we had to use this wire mesh to go around to the extreme. So people don't have access to the farm except you are a farm attendant or a worker. That's when you have access to the other side of the uh, uh, fence, which is actually the farm. So you can see we're still working on the uh, water drains, the water trench. So we want to ensure that uh, we're able to fix it, to go around, to keep away predators from coming into the concrete fence as we usually do. So you can see these are the concrete pens. We have uh, about 140 pens here, well designed. So this is the center passage. So you can move in like this. From there you come in. You can move right through to the end. You can move to either side. You have access to every area of the farm. So you can see it's all messed up because work is still ongoing. We are not done with uh, the construction. So, but we are almost 90% there. So this is where we'll be doing the breeding and hatching of the snails and of course we'll take you now to the greenhouse uh, for you to see how it is designed so this is the greenhouse and i'm sure it's the first time you're seeing a greenhouse with a white cover in our videos now the thing is we are always and constantly looking at ways to improve our farming uh, enterprises so we are not just stagnated in one place depending on one technology or one technique so uh, why I came up with this I've been researching as you would know I came into the black net I was doing something else before I came into the black net the black shade net and now I'm using the white shade net that's because I've been researching and from the researches I found out that the visibility for the black shade net is not so high compared to the white and the quality of the net is almost the same now if you come inside you can see the sun on my face the sun is at its peak but if i go inside you will see it's almost uh, uh cool inside now these are the walkway the steps you can move in to the extreme end so because we just finished, we have not installed the sprinklers, but uh, we've just finished putting the walkway and installing the net. So this white net helps to produce more visibility and that will help the vegetation to grow. And it also have the same cooling effects that the black net has. And recently we've been having some challenges with this net companies. Now, uh, I probably would take this time to explain this. 
these nets that we use for installation, I don't manufacture them. We get them from uh, the Chinese companies that have their warehouses in Nigeria. So when we go there to get these materials, we are being told the uh, lifespan of the material. But what I've come to find out is the lifespan of a particular item begins from the day you finish that, the production of that item. So if the lifespan is 10 years, immediately you finish producing that material, the lifespan begins. So sometimes these materials, they are in the warehouse for how long, we don't know. So by the time we go there to get these materials, all they tell us is 10 years guarantee. And at the end of the day, you find out that in two years, the material is gone in six months is gone. That's because those materials must have been kept in the warehouse for a very long time. And we do not have ways of knowing the longevity or how long it has stayed in the warehouse. Of course, people are not always honest. They will tell you the material just arrived, but it probably would have been there for a couple of years or more. So how we came to discover this is because we get these materials from the same source and find out that some materials we got three, four, five years ago, they are still intact, no damage to the materials. But those we got even recently, like a year ago, have started uh, doing, um, pulling apart. That's to tell you that those materials may have stayed for a longer period of time. But because we do not manufacture them, we depend on what the company tells us. We get these materials and when these issues begin to come up, we try to deal with it as much as we can with the suppliers. And sometimes it is fruitless. So I just want to make this known to you so you understand that we don't deliberately bring materials that are substandard. We don't produce these materials in Nigeria. We depend on the companies that import them. So we also acquire these materials. So that's just to get the air cleared on that area. Now, this white uh, shade net, it gives you the same quality of shading. Uh, you don't have the ultraviolet ray uh, coming down on the vegetation or the snails. It is actually very cool inside and uh, the material is as strong and durable as the black one. But why I tend to now go for this one is because of the visibility. Because many people complain that after putting the shade net, the vegetation does not grow quickly because of the visibility is low with the black compared to the white. So with this white now, uh, this is like the very first one I'm installing with the white uh, shade net. So hopefully we'll see the growth rate of this. I'm very, very sure it's going to be faster, way faster than the black one. And we'll also see the longevity and durability of this net because it looks really good. And the feeling of the net is very strong. And what makes it so nice is the shading. It's really, really nice. You can see the sun you were seeing on my face is no longer there. It's just because of this white uh, shade net. So the, everything remains the same. The next thing we're going to do is to prepare the, the ground for cultivation. So we'll just take you into the next one. We have two of them here. So this is the walkway. You can see the living quarters is separated from uh, the farm itself. So we, are, we have another structure that will be coming up here. That structure belongs to the director and the owner of the farm. And this uh, one I designed personally is for the farm attendants. So I have left this one. It's going to be a sophisticated building. Of course, I'm not a building or uh, a house builder. So that's why I had to leave that for a proper engineer to build. But of course, you've seen what my hands can do on the, <laughs> the farm house. So... Yeah, we are here. This is the last one. So you can see how it is inside. Pretty cool and pretty nice. So uh, this farm is located in Iju. I think it's along the Songo Ijiroko Road. Uh, after Iju, I think you get to Aton and so on. At least I'm getting to know lots of places in Ogun State. So uh, it's what we have here two greenhouses. 140 pence and the farmhouse is strictly a snail farming enterprise we have here so thank you very much i hope this video has been beneficial to you 
and of course do well to subscribe to the video because we have great content already on our channel and we have more to come so do not forget to subscribe and of course like and share thank you god bless you and bye bye